Hold on there, player. I got something important to tell you. If any of you guys who are watching want to watch all this back, I currently have a thing going on called Full Studio. Access eight bucks per month for the entire catalog of all these Twitch streams. It goes back to 2021, all the way up until right now. As well, the Access Plus option that gives you access to the catalog, the consultations, and a 30% discount code to anything I drop in the future for my sound packs right here. So if you're watching this, cop the full access, please, please. I'm gonna walk away now. For more information, cop something from my store, wait for the email, and join the Discord for more. Now back to the video. As beautiful as something looks, if it does not, if it doesn't serve a purpose, you might need to evaluate from a functional standpoint, what are we doing here? What is the goal? And oftentimes I talk about uh, having a routine, having a daily uh, ability to be able to like, you know, catch up with yourself, have something where you can center yourself. Because if you operate from a standpoint that you wanna create something, you wanna create a space, you wanna be able to create a life, it comes with the question of what is the reason? What was the reason? You know, remember that? But I remember looking at this and this actually hit me pretty, pretty hard because I realized I've actually done this before and I didn't recognize it until the functionality, the color. Uh, I dropped two albums that a lot of people enjoyed. And if you guys have peep game on them, the, the Funk Will Prevail is like my magnum opus at this moment until I have another God moment, which I know it's coming. Like, give it a couple of years. I know the next one is coming. And I remember having this moment after making the Funk Will Prevail where I was like, I want to make my own instruments. Like I want to make my own sounds because the sounds that I'm using sound close to what I'm doing, but it doesn't sound like me. And so to Jay Blaze, uh, shout out. Thank you for the, 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 the placement thing, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, so what's funny about that logic placement is those sounds are all a hundred percent created by my hand. Um, <clears throat> I crafted the drum sculptor uh, plugin that is in my store. It's a drum synth plugin that is purely, purely synthesis based. Now I did use the count hi hat for that beat too, and it knocked it out in like seven minutes. But I had the drums, I had my memo piano number two, and I had the electric key that was all and my essential bass. All that was literally made with my own sounds. And what is beautiful about making things with my own sounds, it allowed me to be able to speak for me, bro. Like I didn't have to go and pull up someone else's plugin and having like someone else's sounds. That is my sound. The piano you hear on the new album, You Are Here Start, that is my piano. I had a piano that sat in my front front room and the sound you hear of me pressing the note that is coming from my fingertips and so if you guys happen to cop the memo piano you're hearing me play it so each note was hard soft and i just programmed the mess out of it but it, it uh, you don't even need a producer tag at uh, uh once we hear the sounds we know it's yours and then and that's the goal that has honestly been my goal for the longest and I recognize the more I'm able to make my own sounds, the more you guys will be able to hear me cut through. Um, and I've been very like, you know, tedious in how I approach using my triangle because I use it on every beat. That's how you guys know it's it's me, but it's a cool touch. I don't want to throw it on every beat, though. And I think that's also like the beauty behind it. That's something I want to be able to do where like I don't have to have the same sound like a signature siren or a signature tap, you should be able to hear everything that I make through its sound. And it all comes back to functionality. <clears throat> and so for anybody who is looking to search for their own thing, their own sound, I highly urge you, if you're happening, if you happen to make a mute, make an album, a beat tape, a project, before we start thinking about like, I want this to be in on the radio, I want to put some out to pop up on a playlist. What service or what purpose are you serving when you make the music that you create? 
Is it serving something? Um, Jay Blaze says you got to be able to listen back and recognize yourself in the music. And that is ultimately it. We are extensions. When we create music, we are extending what God has placed inside of us. And I think all of us have something special that God has placed inside of us. We have that voice. And if we sit with our gifts and sit with these tools and sit with these things, especially AI, you'll be able to see us crack through it. And that's my ultimate thing. I want to be able to empower producers, anybody that watches the stream. I want to empower you guys to be able to make what you want happen. That's why we got the Makers Club. That's why we got the Discord. That's why we got the community. There's thousands of producers who are constantly on here trying to get better. Um, uh, ooh, S2 two says, a lot of us start off with the goal of, I want to sound like X or Y, but we forget the spark that got us there. Exactly. That is actually huge because the, the number one issue that I always come across is I come across people or artists who have said they want to make a sound that sounds like this. Now, the problem that comes with sounding like somebody is because you're not that person. And that person created their sound by spending time with their voice, their voice, not someone else's. So if you have a spark, a God-given ability, Take time to hone in your voice. Maybe the people you listen to are a broader spectrum for you to like tap into what you got even more. The type beat disease. Yeah, I, I fell into that loop before when I was like, I really enjoy Flying Lotus, but I recognize that, you know, I'm, I can't be him. I'm not Flying Lotus. I don't make Flying Lotus beats. I, I love Robert Glasper. I love... Uh, Sam I am I love brain feeder but I'm not those guys and you know I, I've I've definitely attempted to make tight beats before but they never ever 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 turn out to be like what you think and I think ultimately what we need to focus on is making something that is inspiring us not something that and Jay Dilla said this better than I can. He was like, I enjoy the music I listen to, but it's a different thing when you listen to something that inspires you and you want to make something completely different because Jay knew his voice. Jay Dilla knew his beats cut without having to say a word. It was that dope. And so just focus on your voice. Don't focus on anybody else's because nobody's gonna do you better than you so do you bro uh, i know what beat says i don't think anything is wrong with type beats uh i'll use them as a learning tool to learn new styles i don't typically produce yeah use it as a learning curve I i'll say it like this because one thing that i've actually done a lot is i've loaded up a beat that i really enjoy listening to and i'll find ways to make my sound cut through theirs and so there is a beat and i actually made this months ago about me making something that was inspired by jay dilla when i wasn't inspired so i took a dilla beat put it underneath my track and i found the transients of where the snares and kicks and everything hit and i removed his beat and just heard what was left and what was left i started playing around with it i started toying with it but that's what this thing requires. You can't just get it mimicking other people. Because if you do, you're going to be known as the person who was trying to mimic that guy you like. Don't be that guy. <laughs> if you... Uh, as, as two, two says, literally inspiration exists for a purpose, but if you try to make that sound, make that your sound identity, then no one gets inspired by you. Yeah. I, I, I went through a period where I was trying, like trying to sound like Mad Lib. And I realized I can't yeah, sound, sound like him. Like for one, I don't even, I, I was making beats and this is this is the kind of crazy deliriousness I had is when I was like 10, okay? I was trying 
Okay, my early years, like Mr. Mockwell, 5K Pro, uh, the early, early days before I started dr- making music on uh, for like, you know, SoundCloud, I was trying, <coughs> trying to make these Mad Lib inspired beats. But I realized I was like, bro, I don't I don't smoke. <laughs> I don't smoke, dude. I don't do drugs. I don't I don't do any of that stuff and I'm trying to make music for people to smoke too like what <laughs> what are we talking about here <laughs> like how am I trying to like talk to people hey smoke smoke, smoke weed every day I don't even smoke what are you talking about like someone really should have sat me down like hey does that sound like you and I was like and I remember it hit me one day I was like you know what that don't that don't sound like. Oh, like, oh, like oh, <laughs> so I literally, I had a come to Jesus moment in 2012 when I was like, I think Flying Lotus has the great archetype for someone who is into weird stuff. And if you like weird stuff, listen to Flying Lotus, but don't mimic him. Do it your own way. Hear what he's doing and then see what he doesn't do and then do that thing. If you hear someone you like, and this is the simplest way I can say it. You hear something, you like it, see what you like about it, and see what they didn't do. That is what will make you different. I rest my case. <laughs>